This is how we make the moonshine. It's too damn cold, that's for sure. I believe our little idea is gonna solve all that problem. So let's work your magic and show me what you got in mind. I know you always got something up that old sleeve. There's no way that masks could ever work off in this kind of weather. Yeast prefers a certain type of temperature. If it gets down there below 60 degrees, it's just gonna go dormant, go to sleep on you. So my idea is we're gonna take a thermostat and we're actually gonna power a control box that'll actually cut the gas off and on. Jerry's plan is to use a salvage thermostat to make an automated heating system that will keep mash at an optimal temperature for fermentation. When the temperature of the mash drops below 65 degrees Fahrenheit, the thermostat triggers a relay switch, which opens a gas valve and ignites the burner with an electric spark. Once the mash reaches 80 degrees Fahrenheit, the thermostat triggers the gas shutoff valve. To charge the battery that runs the system, Jerry plans to improvise a water power generator from an old hoverboard motor. What we do now is just take this uh, control board out, <clears throat> take the which is the, the important part. Yeah. Got an old hot water heater and a hoverboard, and we're gonna make this system work. Take this igniter off, and need this gas fell off. I guess you say I'm kind of a parts hoarder. You just never know when you might have to grab a part and use it for something. In order to beat Richard and Craig, we gotta run liquor all down winter, don't we? That's for a fact. You know them being from Louisiana. <laughs> they ain't gonna be running no them liquor in the middle of winter. If I'm a betting man, I think Richard and Craig's dead in the water. They simply just don't know how to react and what to do in this type of cold weather. That gives me and Jerry a leg up. We've been here, we've done that, and got a damn t-shirt for it. That's our thermostat. So we'll just actually set it to what we want it. But, but we got our little thermostat probe right here that's like to pull out. Gotta go into the pot. You know, all this is Jerry's idea. It's a little bit crazy. This will actually send the power via the wire out of that to here, opening a gas valve, and then it'll send spark to the, to the burner. <laughs> Boom, we got gas, we got gotcha. fire, gotcha. it's burning. So a whole lot of little bitty components has gotta work together. But if it works out, it's gonna be pretty genius. Hard to believe there's a motor in that. I'm telling you. That's basically the way the, the, the electric cars are, pretty much. You just got a wheel with a motor in it. I'll stick with old American muscle. Gas in your tank, huh? Yeah, boy. You know, each one of these wheels is a motor. Right there, we're already turning three volts there, right there. You know, basically, if we get this wheel turning fast enough, we just charge our battery right up with it. It's working. Got 10 out of it, didn't we? 10 to 12 we volts. Get our bicycle wheel set up, and then we get this thing mounted. Let's do a test drive on it. Let's go get a damn bicycle. Jerry's got an old rusted up bicycle out on the trailer behind the shop here. Just gonna get it and start taking wheels off of it and go to, you know, building a damn water wheel out of it. My son gave me an old bicycle. He said it wasn't no good. Chain's all rusted up on it, but it has two good wheels on it. Here, you gonna set it up here? Yeah, we put it up here on the table, I guess. I got a table for a reason. So we're gonna use the wheels on it to make a water wheel. I wonder how many daggum times, Jerry, in our lifetime we took a daggum tire off of a bicycle. Oh, God. All right. Yeah, we'll set this right here out set of the way. Set it That's what we're gonna do is we're gonna just marry these things up like this. That way when one turns, the other one turns. We'll put some soup cans around one tire for the water. And then uh, this like should just sit on there like that right there and just ride. This little wheel is, is just a basically a little motor. If we get this wheel turning fast enough, all we gotta do is run it through some bridge rectifiers and just charge our battery right up with it. So we gotta get a little frame constructed. We're gonna put them together and see how she spins. Got it. Looking pretty. It ain't bad for a damn old used bicycle, is it? This is gonna work beautifully. It ought to, shouldn't it? You know, this thing's turning really good. We got a little frame constructed. We're just gonna simply take some tomato cans, get these things opened up, dump them out, and attach them to the rim all the way around. We've got ourselves a water wheel. So as we're putting water on top of it, it's gonna capture in the weight of the water. Gravity's gonna pull it around one way, dump it out the bottom. The other side's coming up with empty cans. So it just starts that process all over again, round and around. Pretty proud of that. Well, let's take it out there and hook it to some water and see what she does. I'm ready to see what happens, man. Let's do it. You know, anytime me and Jerry does a build, we like to try to check it before we ever take it to the woods. <laughs> oh, turn it on, Jerry! You ready, Mike? Let's go.
It's spinning. She's turning. It's like clockwork, son. That's down meter and socks on a rooster. Put the meter on it, see Put what she says. Put the meter on it before I get soaking ice wet. Now we gotta have more than 12 volts to charge that battery up. This damn thing's getting it now, ain't it? Are right, you 14, 15, 16? Uh, 16 one. Checking it with a meter. We got plenty of power. This is plenty enough to keep this battery charged around the clock. That's plenty, ain't it? This is a very, very important situation that we're in. We've got to make this work to keep our mash at temperatures that we need because we're actually behind right now in sales. Richard and Craig's probably done for the season. I feel like we can get a leg up on these guys and get our customers back. This contraption we come up with, it better by God work. It's gonna work. I'm freezing my ass off. Today, me and Jerry, we're gonna mash him, and we're bringing our water wheel system out here to the steel site, which will help us keep our mash warm through the winter while we're not even here. All right, I'm gonna fire up, Jerry. Woohoo! Like they got my damn eyebrows. It feels good on this cold morning, don't it? Oh, man. Right, we'll set this wheel up. We're trying to beat out Richard and Craig, and so we got to get this thing fixed here today, make it work right so we can leave the woods and depend on this system to keep our mash at a certain temperature rate. We've been business, baby. That'll work. Yeah! That ought to keep a battery charged, shouldn't it? Hell yeah, it will. Wow. This mash made it. All right, give me some cone. Don't let it, by God, burn. Kind of corny, ain't it? Kind of corny. You know, Richard and Craig, they kind of killed mine and Jerry's season. You know, it's gonna make another good mash, huh? Good daddy. So our only choice is to keep making liquor through the winter. So we're mashing in the old-timey basic corn recipe. We just boil the corn down, let it work off, and have that good corn-flavored moonshine, which everybody loves. And hey, it sells very well. Oh, let's get these grits dumped in there. Ready? Hell, I reckon. Ooh, a stick. Uh, get this sugar in there. There we go. All right. Give her a stir, my friend. Give her a stir. Get the old sugar stirred in. Lay it in there, baby. Well, that's topping off of water. You want to make this thing work? All right, so what we're going to do here, check the thermal probe, make sure it gets this tube right. You got a thermoset in it? Well, this way it can actually breathe. Mm -hmm. And we can keep an eye on the temperature all at the same time. Hell yeah. It'll come right nice. on us. Right. Right, so this is going to tell us when to kick on and kick off. Mm -hmm. We just set this to the side right here. All right. Wonder how long it take for enough power to get in here to make this work. Well, we know this thing's making like 14, 16 volts of power. It should be pretty much instantaneously. Okay. Let's give it a try and see. Might as well. We got the wheel working. We here. We got power. It's nice and bright. I see that. Let's see what we got. Moment of truth. Come on, baby. Come on. There it is, baby. Woo! We got Hot flame. Water. Lo and behold, as soon as we hook this battery up, poof, we got flame. It's going to steam, heat the mash up. We're in business. We're good to go. We can walk out of here, not have to worry about our mash getting too cold. Put that between both hands, palms of your hands. See how the temperature's going up? So I think it's 80 degrees. That flame should drop out instantly. Oh yeah, he's such a smart little gentleman. So all we gotta do is button up all the controllers and stuff, make sure nothing gets wet. Tuck it away. Let's get that put back on, get our water barrel set on here, and we are out of here. Cool bainers. This is a big deal to us. You know, me and Jerry, we've lost a lot of damn sales this year to Richard and Craig. But this is gonna turn it around and put Richard and Craig out of business. All right, there we go. All right, baby. Yeah. We got her, baby. Jerry, every time I'm just about ready to give up on your ass, you follow <laughs> through, man.